with me moving forward they are they can able to see that um i was just a human being and sometimes we make mistakes and those cost us although this one no cost us you know with media the public was like nasa make me done him make me dig up his file so now with everything attached to your name has been dug up from your past and everyone and everybody has their own opinions do you want to take this opportunity to address it i mean i've done so many times you know i've i've shared my past in my vlogs um i've talked about what i've been through to where i'm at now and it shouldn't be about my past it should be about who i am today where i'm coming from what i've done and if you're not seeing me as the past and um you see me as a present then my past shouldn't be and that is why i'm always um even funny about it even use it to motivate others tell them yo my past was like this you know so look at me now and look where i was coming from so i most time use it as a motivator yeah all right in regards to your inner circle with you now realizing what you have to lose what is your advice to your linkies when you see them about to make bad decisions <laughs> um the only thing i would say to them is get get on a scale and just weigh the outcome if it's beneficial then do it but if it makes no sense if you're gonna lose then don't so in other words i'll just say if you're gonna make a decision always make sure it's something positive and beneficial to you and whoever is you know important to you so don't just go on a scale and do something that's gonna cost you you know and learn from other people mistakes with the sponsorships that you've made commitments to are you in fear of losing them due to your conduct um i'm a very understanding guy and um just like i was trying to protect my brand when i came out and did what i did um i think those companies would want to do the same and um if they believe that attaching their brand to something of this magnitude is not a good look i'm very much understanding of that but also i want to say that um i could you know move past that and um still have our you know arrangements or deals or contract then that would be great because that incident doesn't define who i am no it doesn't define who i was and it doesn't define the carter family and um just like any business taking risks making mistakes sometimes things happen but it's what you do after the fact that tells if i'm gonna have a relationship with that person so i do understand if they want to you know separate but i also respect that because i'll probably do the same for my brand because i was protecting mine at least try to protect mine yeah everyone misses the carter family what has it been like for you being away from the media um to be honest um i'm not fully away i would say i would say i'm not in front of it but i'm behind of it you know i'll see people comments i'll see you know what other content creators post but um it's hard for me not to create content for my you know supporters for the people who want to see us just get past this and just move forward um yeah i want to i want to i don't know it's 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 to me it's more of um damn i'm missing something i love to you know but it's one of them thing where i have to just know that i have to use time to fix it yeah what was it like for you after hearing all the criticism 
And how are you handling it? Um, I've learned that sometimes when you think that I've learned that not everybody's with you. And I've also learned that a lot of people prefer to see you fail than to rise from the ashes. And um, because of that, I learned to, you know, be more, like I was telling you earlier, protective of my status. Because um, even with, you know, people saying or sharing their opinion, they would love to be in my shoes. You know, so I have to, you know, continue, you know, protect it. You being a popular YouTuber and family man, your audience of all ages look up to you. So there's a lot on your plate. But in reality, people make mistakes. And many have went through what you're going through or similar experiences. Talk to the people then who are dealing with their own issues. What has it been like for you to manage the pain and stress caused? And give them some advice on how they can manage their stress in their life. That's a big one. Um, first, I would say um, tackle the problem f first and face it. That's one. Uh, that's one thing I wasn't doing at the, from the start. I was, you know, scared to face the the story. I guess. But um, there's always gonna be somebody in your corner. Not everyone is gonna be against you. And find that one person that's in your corner and use them to boots you, use them to encourage you, use them to um, make you do the right thing. And um, the person that is being hurt or would be the victim might be a loved one. In my case, it's my family, my friends, my supporter, you know. Um, I just have to be honest with what happened. I have to um, seek their forgiving, hard to be a part of me again. And um, I would say just don't stop doing what you're doing, but just improve on what you're doing. And you'll get the support you need. If, it's, if it is to be, then it will be. Being that both families, your wives and yours are so close, I'm sure you've received messages and calls because everyone expected better. What has it been like for you in the past few days dealing with the family? Um, angry. That's one way of expressing myself. Um, and at the same time, emotional. Um, for example, like my mom, you know, she is not an emotional person, but for some reason this reaches her and it was one of the very first times, you know, I get advice from my mother. And it's in a situation where I would never expect it because we never used to speak on relationship topics. So she coming out and you know, telling me that, you know what, son, I love you, but, you know, I should have known better with certain things. I should have protected not just myself, but my family. We are in the public eyes. You know, so she kind of, you know, molded me to come to a realization. If my mom can say that, knowing the relationship, that she don't really expresses herself like that. And then I have, you know, brothers that reach out, hey, okay, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, you know. And they they are disappointed, and, but, they, but you have to remember, family always come together. And in this time, that's what I needed. So I never really get the, the backlash. I more so get what you're going to do now to make it better. Are you going to fight for your wife? Are you going to, you know, so it's more like that. So they were more supportive, basically. Yeah, not of my actions, but... But just yeah. for you mentally. Yeah, mentally, okay. yeah. Now that you stood up and addressed this, People are going to judge you moving forward. What can we expect when you return to social media? Um, 
more content, you know, um, the loyal supporters will, you know, will be relieved and happy that they're able to get content. And um, 